what is up boys welcome back to the channel back on this kitty cat here we're gonna get cranking on it here a little bit but we're working on the cooling system today uh trying to get this radiator kind of mocked in here mounted whatever we got to do to figure out how we're going to get this thing to work now this is the, just a stock factory radiator still got to clean it up but right now it's good the way it is just for mock-up purposes this is obviously um not going to fit perfectly so we're going to have to do some adjustments and things like that to get this thing to fit not to mention fabricate a few things you guys can see i already started kind of made this little i guess you can call it a radiator support holder whatever you want to call this thing this bracket i made this guy here and basically the radiator will kind of ride right there and sit there and then i raised this lip up a little bit it's just galvanized steel very thin raise that up a bit just to keep it from sliding off also but i got it mocked in there and i realized that we're hidden right in here in this area for that thing to sit nice and flush so what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to have to notch a section of this out right here cut it up just so it sits nice and flush when it's in here not to mention we got the actual intercooler we're going to be using the intercooler the stock intercooler as well that one's damaged though i ordered a new one this thing is all beat up and damaged in a few areas probably from the wreck but we got a new one coming so also we're going to end up mounting that one kind of in in front of that so we're probably going to end up having to notch this guy out as well on the bottom side of it to mount that also we're going to end up putting our condenser as well we'll see how far we get today but that's kind of the goal today is just trying to work on the cooling system a little bit i ordered a bunch of the cooling lines already as well for the supercharger and everything else like that i ordered the stock um coolant bottle so see if we can make that work and go from there but let's just get cranking Yeah, I think we got this thing pretty much secured for the most part. Um, we're gonna have to kind of play with it a little bit, but you guys can see where I notched it for that little guy right there. We'll clean that up, put some paint on it, get it all nice and clean. But that's why we had to notch it because this little guy right here would not let it sit flush when it came to the mounting tabs right here. So we had to notch that. That's all good, but also we're gonna also not only repurpose this bolt to mount this cooler right there back to back to it so we'll use that as well to mount the cooler and then the bottom ones we might just put some nut inserts i don't know we'll see once we get this thing mocked up but let me see if i can um start cutting this because i'm gonna have to end up cutting this guy right here notch this back in order for this thing to fit nice and flush and even, so let's start cutting.
Clean, clean, boys. Well, we got this kind of mocked up for the most part. Looks pretty good. I like the way it came out. Um, I do have to go get one bolt here. I don't have one that's long enough. We had to also custom made the crap out of these bolts. And this is kind of more or less on what we were doing. Um, I went and bought a bunch of these, cut them down because they were too long, and then try to re-thread them. Well, I should say successfully threaded two of them over there until my tap kind of basically gave up. And then we got this. So I got to go get one more to finish that off here. But that one's in there. Good to go. Also up here, you guys can see, got a nice little cushion in there in between the two. And then had to come up with this, you guys can see little spacer slash a rubber insulator and I drilled those out these kind of look like this when this is a hardware store got a bunch of hardware and they start off like this so then I drill them out but on this side this side looks really good we repurpose these insulators from the factory we use it there to give us a nice little gap in between the condenser and the cooler and then we added another rubber insulator also in between there to just insulate it even more from this core support so that's all done there like i said all we redid is reuse the same nut inserts on the radiator so everything's basically holding itself together as one like it did from factory so i like it um we got to see if we're going to end up mounting the power steering cooler but I don't think we can reuse that one. It's kind of beat up. I'm going to see what Paul wants to do. Um, go from there. But at least this thing's mocked in. We're going to end up pulling this stuff back out again. Because like I said, we got a new cooler coming for that. Um, we're going to still have to figure out how to plumb our lines here. These are the lines for the transmission, I believe. The tranny cooler lines. And then obviously you have your AC lines here. And then you're going to have... All our auxiliary pump coming into here. We still got to figure out how we're going to route all that stuff as well. So we got a lot of work to do still. But at least the radiator is pretty much mocked in here. But we do have to figure out the hoses here. The top hose should be pretty easy. Top hose, you guys can see it'll land basically right there. I'm going to just I'm gonna cut it up a little bit. It's a little long there. So we're going to have to cut it down a bit. But the bottom hose you guys can see kind of where it lands and we're gonna have to figure out and maybe we can just cut this guy here something like that i don't know we're gonna have to play with it a little bit but the angle's kind of odd now we might just need a, a straight right there i might just go get a silicone boot and just call it good but i think these are two different diameters i have to measure them but cooling system is coming along uh just gave you guys a quick update because I had a lot of time that I had to sit there and fabricate things, make bolts, and figure it all out. I didn't want you guys sitting there through it. Guys, the sun sucks. Look at this. Trying to hide from the sun with the old TP. But you guys already know. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell for notifications. And stay wrenching.